What's going on, boxing fans? It's your boy, Pool Kind of Boxing. Coming at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing minds. Ronnie Shields, you know, he says that uh, Jamil Charlo, he is not ducking David Benavidez. He says he's not ducking beat, uh, David Benavidez because um, he fights at 168 and also that uh, David Benavidez has nothing to offer. He has no belt to get to Canelo. Plus, Jamal Charlo don't need David Benavidez to get to Jamal, to uh, Canelo. So, David Benavidez also, Ronnie says, he uh, fights at 168. And, and Jamal Charlo fights at 160. So there is no need for them to fight. And that's all well and good. And it makes perfectly, perfect good sense. You know, good sound logic. The problem comes in is because Jamal said that he will knock out David Benavidez. He said he would beat him. So now, when you say that, now you're done done something you can't something that can't be undone now you done open a can of worms now you're on the other side of the fence where the wild dogs at oh yeah now you got to see about that right you don't just say you, you can beat somebody and then you go back on your word you know what i mean you know, David Benavidez wasn't looking for um, Jamal Charlo. He just took him up on the offer. You know what I mean? If you just chilling and somebody comes out and say, man, I knocked that dude out over there. I, you know, yeah, you weren't even thinking about him. Well, you take him up on the challenge and now they're like, oh, no, nah, man, you know. No, nah, I wasn't talking about, you, man, I, I I really, man, we, you know, I ain't thinking about fighting you, man, you know, not now. You know what I'm saying? Maybe sometime in the future. No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm-mm-mm. No, you said you could knock me out. So now let's see what's popping. What's happening? That's what's up. That's David. That's what time David Benavidez is on. He's like, okay, you said what you said. You said what you said. So no, 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 don't go back on your word now. I ain't got nobody to fight over here, you know, and you a good name too. You know, Jamal Charlo would be a good name on his list. He need that fight, right? With all the weak competition at 168, you know, having a name like Jamal Charlo, you know what I'm saying? Moving up to WB. See middleweight champion at 160, you know what I'm saying? To have that win for David Benavidez would be a awesome head for him to go into a Canelo fight, right? To have on his resume. So, it looks bad. It looks bad for Jamil Charlo to uh, go back and act like he don't want that fight. He don't want that smoke. Because he's one of the lions only. The lions only, when you think of a lion, you think of a powerful beast. You know, you think of the king of the jungle. You know, you think of a lion, you know? You know, ferocious. You know, fearless. You know what I mean? Aggressive. Right? They're supposed to be lions only. And uh, Jamal, he's acting like... He's like acting like that Wizard of Oz lion. He's acting like the, the cowardly lion. You know what I'm saying? When you say something, you got to back it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to back it up. You know, you can't just put it out there that you can knock somebody out. And, you know, just like they did Danny Jacobs. That's another one. You know, you said you could beat Danny Jacobs. And then Danny Jacobs came up there. In your face, and he said, "You said what you say? What what what's up? You want smoke, right?" Then we find out that you had a choice to fight Danny Jacobs 
or this uh, Jose Montiel guy, uh, Jamil Charlo fought. He had a choice. He turned down Danny, Danny, Daniel Jacobs, and he fought Jose Montiel, even though the Danny Jacobs fight would have been bigger, right? That would have been a bigger fight. Come on, Jamal. Charlo, what is going on, bro? You're starting to look like that, um, that, uh, Wizard of Oz lion. You know, put him, uh, put him, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm murdering you. You're starting to look, you're starting to look crazy, man, I hear, you know. You're getting a little comfortable, you know what I'm saying, with the, the little itty bitty fights and making, you know, the good little money to, you know, so you can floss a little bit in Houston, you know what I'm saying? You got the mansion and, you know what I'm saying? You're looking fly and you're eating good and, you know what I'm saying? So you're just getting a little too soft, bro. You know what I mean? This is boxing. This is boxing, bro. You know, when you jump out there in them streets of boxing and you say something, you got to back it up, bro. Or, you know, you're going to lose what you got because you're getting soft. You're getting soft, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and you got David Benavidez people looking at you like you food. You're looking like food, bruh. You know what I mean? And now, you know what I'm saying? The lines only, the, the whole image is taking a hit. So if it wasn't for, Jam- for Jamel fighting all the best in his division, I don't know, bruh. The lines only reputation you know it's only being kept alive by your twin your twin brother so you're gonna have to do some soul searching brother you have to do some soul searching because you may not be ducking David Benavidez but you definitely got to back up what you said bruh as much as I love the Charlos and you know what I'm saying? Much as, you know, I like like the legacy of how they were raised and they, you know what I'm saying, Vernon Forrest, you know, helped, helped them out in their career and war gave them shoes and all this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? They grew up around the sport. Uh, you know, you got to have that. You got to keep your fire going, bro. You know, I know it's not a lot of competition at 160. I know Triple G is avoiding you, but you got to keep your fire, bro. You got to keep the eye of the tiger. You know what I mean? Because the wolves are at the door. And they ready to pounce. They smell blood. And you looking pretty much like some food right now. You looking like a piece of meat, man. You look like you're about ready. You know what I mean? You didn't look too good after that Montel fight. You know what I'm saying? You look like, you know, you look like you was having a hard time now, bro. That's because you need to fight more often. You need to stay on the edge, bruh, and stay out of those Houston restaurants flossing around, you know what I'm saying, on um, the, Ch- the Lions Only uh, YouTube channel. You know, you need to get back in the gym, get back into your craft, work on your craft, and get your edge back, bro. That's what you need. You see what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying, you know. Your next fight, bro, that's going to tell it all right there. Hopefully you fight somebody significant, man. Hopefully you fight, you take that um, Demetrius Andrade fight. Because that's a legacy fight, bro. You need it. You need it for your boxing fans. You know, the boxing fans need it. You know what I'm saying? And you need it for your uh, for your edge, bro. You need it for your, for your craft. You know what I'm saying? To get better, you got to grow. Your boxing skills are stagnant. You know what I mean? So, the next time David Benavidez challenge you, man, you got to come head to head and tell him, hey, hell or high water, I'm going to meet you, man. I'm going to see about you. And uh, Demetrius Andrade, the same energy, bro. Don't let these don't let these dudes, you know, get ahead of the game, you know, on you, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, that's all I got, man. And, you know, it's like, Jamel, you're looking kind of bad out here in these streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the, the Lions Only brand got to come up again, you know. We got faith in you, but, bro, I'm telling you, you're moving sideways. This has been cool kind of boxing.